Well, assalamu alaikum, everyone. Um, welcome to part one of the interview series. We're back. This time, a little bit of a collab uh, where Samor Jaffries and uh, Union uh, New York Union Islanders are together on this uh, venture of bringing you interviews leading up to the tournament, as Jabber and Shane just mentioned. Um, and they've given me the ability to host it. So thank you to them. Um, I'm excited. I haven't done this in a couple of years. Uh, pan the pandemic hasn't done me so well. A lot of a lot of more gray hairs than the last time you probably saw me. Um, a little different than when when New York did it, just because we don't have. Um, it's not live on Instagram. It's uh, it's going to be on YouTube. And we're doing this over Zoom, as you can see, and um, we have. Um, it's going to be a little less formal. It's not going to be so question answer. It's going to be more so a conversation. And that's kind of what I've always wanted this to evolve to. And I'm glad that it has evolved. And I'm glad that Stanmore has given me the platform that uh, and New York Union Islanders has allowed me to continue hosting this. Um, we're excited. Tournament's coming up. It's real now. You know, when you start seeing things like this, the promotion, the, the propaganda, all that stuff, right? Like you start seeing all this, that means it's there. Volleyball slowly is coming back. And no better guest to have as our first guest, our first person who's going to be interviewed. Um, uh, the, I worked hard on this intro, so hear me out. The, the enigmatic, the charismatic, the overdramatic Kumail Kaki from Stanmore Jaffries. Um, Kumail, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for making this happen on a tight Anytime. schedule, I know. And uh, thank you so much for being my first guest because... I wanted someone from Stanmore, but I wanted someone who embodied the, the Stanmore passion. And there's no one better than, <laughs> than, than you. Um, so thank you for coming on. Thank you for having me. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I want to start off, Shane and, uh, and, uh, Jab, and Jabber just mentioned that this tournament is going to be in honor of Fazl Virani. Fazl Virani yeah. obviously has meant a lot to a lot of people his ventures outside of volleyball, in volleyball, the things he's done for the community and for people all, ac all across the world, really, who play volleyball, right? Like even if you watch the, the previous tournament, right? Like the Indian guys were getting along with him, right? Like he's so easy to get along with. He was one of the, uh, the nicest guys, the most genuine guys I had ever met on the volleyball court. He, he, I think we got along so well because he shared the same passion as me. He wanted to see people grow. He wanted to see people get better in the game. Um, but I'll let you talk because I know that he, he, he held, you know, a, a, a big place in your heart. He was close to you in a sense. And, and I want you to just touch on what he meant to you and what he meant to, to Stanmore Jaffries. Um, yeah, there's, there's, I don't think there's enough words to describe the kind of person that he was. He's obviously a, uh, a huge loss to 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 everyone within Stanmore, within Hudjat, within yeah. you know ZT, Zara Trust, all of the good work that he did there. Um, so yeah, a, a huge loss to everybody, um, especially his family, who you know we're, we're we're standing strong with, and and we're praying that you know they can they can uh, come out of the other side um, through this great loss. Um, but yeah, Fuzzle. Um, so Fuzzle and I first, well, I, I first got to know Fuzzle through volleyball um, when we first broke into the to the tier one or seniors right. uh, volleyball as it was on a Saturday night at Aldenham. Yeah. Um, when we first started playing volleyball, we used to play on a Friday night in Wembley where none of the seniors would turn up, barring maybe one or two. Right. Um, and we would just go and, you know, have fun, try and be good, try and emulate what they do when we see them on Saturdays. Um, and then we'd go there on Saturday. Um, and because we've got three courts, the seniors would play on court one, which was the seniors court. And we would set up a four on four on the other side and play. And people like Fazl would come and watch us play, uh, when they were taking their breaks, right, right. um, they would come and see what, what we were capable of. And then slowly we'd get a call up. So I think Amirli was the first to get a call up. Okay. Um, and then I think Murtaza and Abbasili and myself, we all kind of trickled through. But yeah, Fazl, Fazl and I grew quite close in the last two years. 
mm-hmm. um, especially around my my health stuff. Um, he was ever present. Um, he would come home and spend time with the family, spend time with my kids. Wow. Um, my 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 daughter was in love with him. Yeah. Like he he would spend hours with my children outside, playing in the cold, in the heat. You know. Yeah. Just, just spending time with them, and that—that's the kind of person that Fazal was. He right. he transcend he transcended all age ranges. Exactly. Um, yeah. So my my son at the time was what um, six, so between six and ten months, mm-hmm. and he would be there playing with him, spending time with him, um, and my daughter who was three at the time, he would just take her outside, play around, look for spiders, look for stuff, you know, random yeah, stuff, yeah. puzzle and, stuff, and just make her day yeah. exactly. Yeah. Um, and then he'd be there at every Baraza session. So Fuzzle was ever present. Um, he was, was he was everywhere, and yeah. and you can just tell from all the tributes and everything that's been you know been said about him lately since the the, the tragic uh, loss. Um, just shows how many hearts and how many people yeah. he's touched across yeah. the globe, not and, just in Stanmore but across the globe. Exactly, and that's that's the thing yeah. that I think hurt all of us like so much because. I had probably met Fuzzle 10 times in my life. Yeah. And yeah. each occasion that I, or each time or event that I spent with Fuzzle, whether it be five minutes, whether it be an hour, was always just laughs, always just good uh, conversation, dialogue. And he was genuine. And, and, and we were talking about this the other day, the New York guys. And we were like, you know, if we were to leave, when we do leave, this world. I mean, that this is the, the tribute. I mean, it just doesn't get better than this, right? The amount of people that he's exactly uh, he's touched and he's um, he's obviously uh, his, his generosity is all that stuff is, is, is you can see it, you can see it all. Right. And I think for me, I had met Fuzzle um, the, the few times that I actually had a, a conversation with him. I remember I had met him in Dubai right before the tournament that I played in 2019, before the pandemic. And we had yeah. gone to practice the day before it had started. And we, um, afterward, I played with him and it was, it was so much fun. And afterward, and you know, Fuzzle, right? He's, he's not, he's banter, right? He's, he's a cigarette and jokes. <laughs> and that's what he is. That's, that's, that embodies what he, he was. And he was a fun time. But after it was done, he offered to drop me home um, mm-hmm. to the hotel that I was staying at in Dubai. And on the way there, uh, Mutz Virani, who obviously a close friend of ours, new, you know, fellow New Yorker, yeah, yeah. he um, <laughs> he was having them all over. And so Fuzzle had just found out that I was alone that night. And he was like, why don't you come? And I was like, no, 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 yeah. you know, I don't want to intrude. And he's like, no, 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 I'll drop you off afterwards. And just that, that the fact that he was willing to go out of his way like that showed me the type of person he was. Right? He cared, even though I had met him again at, at that point a handful of times. Um, the last thing I, ha- I had heard from Fuzzle, which was just a few months back, was that I heard he had sent me a Facebook message, uh, actually a voice note saying that I have heard that you have left the pitch, the volleyball pitch for the fairways of golf, <laughs> and I hope that you return. Um, so for Fuzzle, uh, in honor of you, man, uh, you, you touched so many lives. You were such a good person. And it's tough to say that right nowadays, I feel like, especially you know, in the game of volleyball, there's such good people leaving us. Um, just, you know, in the last few years, right, we lost Faisal Banji, we lost yeah. Oscar Ali, right, who was a very close friend of mine. We've lost Tagaro just a couple months back, or I want yeah, to say like that, yeah. early last year or late last year. And he was, you know, these all good people, man, people that really impacted the game in a positive way. And that's what Fuzzle was. Um, and so Fuzzle, this is, this is for you. Uh, this is all for you. And I hope that, you know, we can, uh, we can make you proud up there because, uh, volleyball is going to come back and he always wanted it to come back and he wanted to come back strong. Right. He always told me, yeah. uh, but I'm glad that uh, I'm glad that speaking of your health uh, yes. quickly, obviously everyone wants to know how you're doing. How are you feeling? Are you ready? I'm are good. you, are you close? Yeah. Um, and, and how are you doing, you know, physically, how are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling much better, much better. I'm good. The hair's back as you can see. So yeah, that had all gone. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that was that was a scary time. But I'm sure. Yeah. Um, is, yeah. Alhamdulillah, it's back. So I'm it's, yeah, I'm, it's I'm back and forth to go. Yeah, I was yeah. I was just getting ready for the interview. I take my time to get ready. <laughs> then I realized I was on the camera with Kumail, so no one's going to be watching me. The guy has the best beard in the game. There's only a few nah, beards that are as this good. You Jabber, <laughs> a lot of good beards. You guys, you guys, you and Jabber, are the best beards in the game. Uh, so I wasn't going to even try. I just I just came on. You know, figured whatever. It doesn't really matter. 
but it's good to see you. It's good to see you. Thank you. Ready, obviously, for this tournament um, and looking good, as always. Um, we'll start the interview now. Okay. The, the interview, I'll be honest, um, I wanted it to be raw. I wanted it to be real. I wanted it like the interviews we did in the past because they were live, right? Like nobody was ever so like, I, I don't want to say blunt, but they just, you know, they weren't as straightforward. Right? They wanted to be careful of what they were saying. We have the ability not to edit things out. So Kumail, feel free to go ham, <laughs> right? Um, but I I'll think try. that this will be a, a, a real dialogue, a real conversation. And again, I, I loved having Kumail on first because I thought Kumail would bring that, right? He would bring that rawness that we're looking for. And so just get ready, man, and, and shoot it straight because that's I know that's what you do. Um, let's talk about your start in the game first, right? You're, where did you learn the game, watch the game? And, and again, I know you touched on it briefly with the whole fuzzle thing, but where did you really, like, really, really want and, and know that this is what you wanted to do and become that good in terms of like, this is the game that's best suited for me. You come from a place that soccer or football, sorry, is the main sport. What made you turn to volleyball? So football was never my passion. Um, I've, 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 I've watched it. I've enjoyed it. Um, I play now and again, but just socially. Right. Um, but cricket was my sport. That, that was the oh. sport I grew up playing. My dad played it. Um, my dad played it quite, quite well. So I hear I haven't seen him play. But um, <laughs> he was he was one of the one of the players that was talked about when he was younger um, and even now. So cricket was my passion. That's what I played a lot of growing up. Um, I actually thought I may have a career in this, but I didn't. I, I don't think I applied myself. I didn't have enough encouragement to do it. Right, right, but right. that that, you know, that being said, um, volleyball was just a social. Um, so. When I first moved to the UK from Nairobi, where I was brought up, um, we moved to Peterborough. I'm mm -hmm. sure you've heard of Peterborough. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we, we, we lived in Peterborough, and there used to be this, um, on Saturday nights, it was called Shia Sports. So the youth would all get together, some right. of the seniors as well. Right. Um, and there would be volleyball um, on the, on the in, in, in the indoor courts mm -hmm. and football in the outdoor courts. And right. I remember just sitting there watching the volleyball, wanting to play. Right. And then they started youth Shia sports or youth volleyball for, for, mm -hmm. for Shia sports. And um, I used to turn up, I used to play just, you know, just, just dabble as they'd say. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and not really think much of it. Um, and then, and then I, I remember wanting to play in the senior sessions and I thought, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm actually okay. I can return the ball. That's surely that's the bare minimum you need to right, do right, right, to yeah, play yeah. the sport. Yeah. So uh, I just, I, I remember never getting a chance. I thought, ah, forget this. I used to just go and play football. Yeah. Um, and then we moved to London um, and then obviously Stanmore being, you know, the local community, I'd go to the mosque, um, met my friends. So the blues, um, as, as, as you obviously know, um, they started playing volleyball in, um, in Wembley at Oakington. And this was, you know, a, a social session open for everybody right, just right. come rock up, play. Right. Um, and I remember them telling me like, let's go, we go. So let's go. And, and I, and I joined them a few times and, and we went, um, and stress would turn up, mm. um, and stress would make it look so easy. Right. Yeah. So we'd, we'd all be in awe watching him thinking, Oh man, I wish we could play like that. Right. And then, um, and then from there, it just started in, in the sense that I, I just wanted to play. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed returning the ball. Um, I enjoyed just, just not making a mistake. That, that was my aim. Going to a session, not making a mistake. I didn't want to be the person that got pointed the finger at saying yeah. that you made yeah, the mistake yeah, yeah. in that session. You know, you yeah. cost us the game. So that's, that's where it all began. And, and how old were you at um, the time? I was, I want to say... 17 18 ish so about about 15 years ago give or take yeah 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 yeah, yeah? so yeah, it's just yeah, crazy yeah. how 15 years the, ball, the game has changed because now when you go to practice it's not i don't want to make a mistake it's i want to take as many <laughs> points as possible right uh, but yeah yeah it's tough to find that that at, you're right at that time when we were all kind of playing the game you're right i started at the same time just don't yeah. mess up right just exactly don't mess up that was the key yeah yeah and that, that was the message that was that was pushed down from everybody just don't make a mistake. Just return the ball. There was no net game then. Yeah, there, there was no concept of hitting the net and you know jumping and, and and spiking or jumping and you know floating or whatever. It was just literally return the ball. The longer you stay in the rally, the more chances you have of winning. 
yeah, yeah. So that, that, I, that I, was it. just for the North American people who are watching, we will have uh, subtitles and for the British <laughs> words that are being used, dabble and bench. <laughs> I'm trying to conform as much as I can for the okay, family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, no uh, <laughs> so I will let the North American people know. We'll, we'll probably have a key or something that you guys can look at. Um, <laughs> You said not making a mistake. So defense over offense for you, right? It's always been that way. 100%. Always. And why? Always. Why defense? Why? What makes defense your bread and butter? Just um, I'm risk averse as a person, right? right? And I don't want to be the person that makes the mistake ever. I don't, I don't want right, right, right. to. I don't want to. I don't want a third ball. I, I, I just don't. Like, yes, You're telling me I there's, never, there's never a time you want a third ball? See, when Mudge is setting the ball, nah. Mudge or there's this new kid on the block, Zahid Jamal. When he's setting the ball, wow. okay, I want new the kid ball. on the block. Everyone, watch out. A new kid on the block. <laughs> uh, coming out. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. you're saying that when they set, you want the ball. Otherwise, yeah. Otherwise, I'm, you're I'm just not, not that you're, you're just not. Is it because you, you grew up that way, or is it because when you watch the team evolve, that yeah. was the position that you were going to be the best at? Was that, did that play a part in it? Uh, I think so, yeah. Because, see, at the time, it was Mutt who was the hitter. Right. And Mutt was always playing back center. Right, right. And, um, yeah, I think I, I just always was back left. I just always was the defensive man. Just just the person just With making you, the noise, keeping everything going. Yeah, everyone involved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Back yeah. left, right? It, it's starting yeah. to, it was always called the Kancho position, the position that no one really wants to play. Yeah. You've made that a position people that want to play Jabir, uh, uh, Jabir Ali Dina has made that a position that people want to play. Why not? Did you ever want to move to the back, right? You know what? Recently, I've been playing a lot of back, right? And wow. I'm enjoying it. But when I play back left, back left is home, as I tell yes, everybody. Right. Yeah, that's, so that's home. That's, that's true. It's that's funny because most comfortable. it's when you're at practice and you're like, hey, man, you're playing back left. Everyone look, gives you that look, right? Like, wait, you don't want me to play this game? You know? <laughs> back left never gets the most balls unless you have a lefty back center, right? And I guess, you know, back right has always been the strong side for a lot of back centers. And so everyone wants to play back right. You know, yeah, that's yeah. just how it's always yeah. been. But again, like you said, like I said, you, Jabber, have made playing back left the cool thing. And mm -hmm. if you've noticed, even I remember the last tournament we had gone to real indoor tournament. We were playing in the, um, the semis. Uh, we, we had gotten to the finals against Stars. In the semis, Orlando had brought this mixed team with Minnesota. And they had Aliaskar Alu, yes. they had Mehta Mehdi, they were going up against Thurab, and Aliaskar Alu played back left. That's it. Right? Because that's the cool position, right? Like, you can play back left. Unless you're playing behind Imran Jurats, then you're not really playing back left. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> you're playing Nintendo Wii. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, when you were growing, growing up, like you said, you're playing with the Blues, you're playing with all these guys, you were learning to play defense, you know, um, it, it became your, your forte. Mm -hmm. How did you cement your spot on the team? What did you have to go through anybody? Did you just feel like I, if I worked harder than everyone, I would get this spot? Uh, did you feel like, did you have a chip on your shoulder almost? No, I didn't. No, no, no. Um, I, I just fell into that position. So there was one tournament in, in, in specific, New York 2013. Right. I felt like, so I had won MAMT. Well, mm -hmm. not I. We had won MAMT in 2011 yeah, yeah, yeah. and 2012. Right. Back to back. And actually, no, 20, sorry, 2012, we lost. But 2011, we won. 2012, we got given our youth team and we, we lost. Uh, we were in the group of death and we just played crap. Um, but yeah, I, I, I was, I felt like in the senior sessions, I was probably one of the best players in terms of not giving a point, being very consistent in returning the ball, hitting the net, um, you know, doing, doing the basics. And 2013, there is this opportunity to go to New York. Everybody's, you know, excited. It's New York. We've never been abroad. And I looked at the team sheet and my name wasn't on the, the A team. And I was like properly gutted. Like I was, wow. I was, I was, okay. I was not happy I, I didn't know at that. all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was not happy at all. And, um, and then some of us got together um, and we were like, you know, we've got to make a B team. We've, we've got to go. Like, right, you know, we, right. we have to go. Like, right. the A-team's done. Right. Amirali's in the A-team, the only guy from the youth team who made it. And, he, and, and rightly so. He's probably one of the best front centers in the world right now, yes, if not the best. Yeah. Um, 
and 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 he was there playing with the seniors with stress with Kumail Marali with Musti AP with Azim and so on um and yeah um uh, Mutsvi um who else Mutsvi Sublo Mutsblu Abaskali Blue oh, yeah I remember this team. all of us yeah all of us just got together and we were like you know we also want to go and they were like yeah fine we can take a second team no problem and we had enough and and we went and we played and we lost and you know the rest is history but we, that that was the first moment where i felt like hang on a second i i i deserve to be in that 18 team i'm better than a few of the players in that team i thought yeah. i could have done a job yeah 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 um and and then and then from then on i just wanted to prove myself to everybody else yeah. at stanmore that i can do this and right. i can probably be one of the best in that position right um and yeah that's 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 what got me started the playing with the blues uh obviously has been it's every team i i like to say this but every team has a core four for the most part mm-hmm. every, every elite team has a core four mm-hmm. look at mm-hmm. jaffries they have muna mebo husni kizer and now that yeah. muna uncle is you know kind of semi retired you have mason right like mason. Every, yeah, you, know, yeah. you you look at orlando you got imran Hilal, KJ, Arifali, right? It's always been the core four. And, and I would like to say, you know, for stars, again, Jaber, Irfan, Konein, Darab, that's when, that's when they were winning, right? They were, everyone, at, when they were winning, their core four was at their peak. For you guys, you, Amir Ali, Abbas Ali, and I want to say Mutz, right? Because for the most part, stress was there, he's but then there. Yeah. Mutz has been there throughout, whether it was front, yeah. whether it's back, he's playing, he's there. And so... For you being a part of that core four and obviously being looked at in a light where when people step on the court, they know you're one of the best defensive players in the game. Playing with the Blues alongside you, obviously, you know, growing up with them. What's that been like? You know, what, 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 I mean, you guys grew up together practically, right? In the game. Yeah, I mean, we grew up together from, from in the game. Yeah, exactly. But even off the court, from, right. from back home, from Nairobi, we're the same school, same address, wow. same everything. Okay. Okay. Um, family, friends, so our parents were quite close. Right. Um, and yeah, we've known each other for the longest time, like since we were in diapers, I guess. Um, but playing with them on the court, it's just, um, it's all about the brotherhood. You know, the, the trust that you have within the boys in in the team exactly. like yeah. whatever i say be it negative or positive it'll always be like the, the, there's no there's no grudges there's no hard feelings mm-hmm. like everybody leaves that off the court right. on the court we're just a unit essentially um i don't know how else to describe it to be honest with you but no that's, that's just that's, that's it, what it looks yeah, like it just right? fits it just yeah it fits exactly. like a glove look- essentially so, yeah Yeah. Exactly. It looks like it fits. It just looks like you all understand each other, right? And then that's the thing, I think, with all these great teams. It's like, sometimes it's just a look. Sometimes it's just yeah. like a nod and people know it's time to like step up, right? Um, yeah. yeah. Let's talk about your first win because we'll go, we'll go into tournaments and we'll talk about everything like that. But let's let's talk about your first win. And and that's we did some we did some research on this. Um And a lot, took a lot you of better research. get the right one. Yeah, we took a lot of research. <laughs> NIA in Birmingham, right? 2011. Oh, First tournament yeah, win yeah. that you know, probably meant the most to you guys, you know, because it was, it was the, your youth team. It was you, right. Luz, Faz, uh, Soblo, Dosif. Yeah. What was that like? Your first real tournament win, uh, even though it was just in, it was in Birmingham, not at home per se. What was that like? That was very special because... Um, Initially, when we were going to the tournament, or you know, the lead up to the tournament was that it it's just a you know just just a mixed tournament. People are not going to take it seriously. Um, the 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 elite teams like the Leicesters and the Hatheries um, are not going to are not going to turn up. Like it's going to be their youth teams or you know stuff like that. It's going to be a youth tournament essentially. So um, we all rock up. Um, we're in the we're in the car park. We've just parked up. We're walking out and we see. Um, players like Inayat turning up. So this is Inayat. Um, I don't know his surname, but he um, was the the don for Leicester. He's the one who won them the most trophies in their history, right? And and he rocks up, and we're just like, oh god, here we go. Like this this is just going to be right. you know one of those tournaments where we lose yeah, yeah, most yeah, of yeah. our games and go back home um, and just you know call it a day. But um, 
yeah, we just, I don't know, it just clicked. So the first game we played, we played against a, a team from South London. They are made up of some ex Haydari guys. They, they were called Zulfikar or something like that. Um, so slightly senior, um, but really good players. So actually, you, you must know, um, we all refer to him as Mze Roshi from yes, Wanda. Of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 He's been to New York a couple of yes, times. Yes. So he was on that team. Okay, okay. Him and his son and a few other um, of, of the Haydari guys. So right. some big hitters, basically, yeah, from, yeah, from back in the day. Yeah, yeah. And uh, first game we played, very close, neck and neck. And they just edged us and they won the game. Okay. And we lost that game. And Sublo took us and he's like, you know what? It's fine. We've lost the first game. It's okay. Mm. We go up from here. We win the next one. And we'll win the ones after that. Like, it's, right. th- there's, there's no pressure on us. Game at a time. Right? These are the big boys. It's fine. Yeah, we're here on our first tournament as the youth team. Don't worry. And the next game comes on and uh, I can't remember who it was, but we just, we, I don't know if it was a close game or we smashed them, but we won. And we literally won every single game after that. Wow. And we just, yeah, it was, it, was, it just became really easy. We were all in the yeah, group. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, returning group, everything. Right Faz, Faz was doing his job. Amirli was pressing from the front line. Mutz Blue mm-hmm. was playing steady from the back. Abbasli front right. Sublo steady from the right, back right. And, and we just went and we won every single game. And it came to a point where now it's, it's almost time for the, for the organizers to, to call it a day. But they wanted to have a final. So, okay. <laughs> this is the funniest thing ever. Sublo goes, guys, we're going to the changing room. We're changing our clothes. And we're telling them we're heading back. Because we were top of the table. Oh, right? and we're like, we're going home. It's too late now. We're going back to London. So there was no final. There's, there's no final. Like, there's no playoff. <laughs> we I didn't mean. want to play a final. But there because was, was there a playoff? Top, so we're winning. <laughs> was there a playoff in this tournament? Nothing. There was nothing. So whoever was on top nothing. at the end is the winner. <laughs> yeah. oh, no, that's... Because we were ready. We we're ready to go. So I we, mean, we your union would probably win like five <laughs> tournaments like that. <laughs> Just can't play yeah, yeah. We, we claimed that win. We claimed that win because we were on B after the first game. So we claimed it. But yeah, that, that, was, that was our first, um, whatever you want to call it, win or just being top of the table, whatever. Um, but yeah, that was our first win. That meant a lot to all of us. And we were proper excited about it, thinking, you know what? SJ are going to give us our youth team and we're going to go and play in MAMT. Right. And we're going to win MAMT with this youth team because we've just beaten the big hitters in this NIA tournament. And, um, and everyone at, at SJ, like the, 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 the seniors in terms of the likes of Fuzzle, and and co were like nope you guys are not having your team you're not ready yet we're going to split you up oh wow um, some of you yeah. are going to be yeah so so the a team was stacked the a team at that time was stress abbas virani um who else was in the a team kumel Mirali, you know the the, the the big hitters from the days who were, who were winning matt yeah exactly and we got split up but yeah um that, that was our first win so we we'll, we'll talk about we talked we just talked about NA. We're gonna go yeah. to Mamt. Mamt is like is like the the biggest was at least un, until Wilaya, the biggest yeah. tournament in y- Europe, London. I mean, in Europe, yeah, I'd say. Europe, yeah. right? I because guess we had say. we had European teams turning up. Yeah. Exactly. So I would say yeah. that you know Mamt was. Uh, I remember when we were younger and we were hearing about Mamt and we heard how you know how big of a deal it was. Um, <laughs> Uh, you, we would always hear, you know, Stanmore Jeffries won, like at least when I was growing up, right? Stanmore Jeffries won MAMS. Stanmore Jeffries won MAMS. And we just kept hearing that, like, man, is there no other team in, in in Europe that can beat these guys? Or how good are these guys? That's when we started learning about you guys, right? I think that's when we started kind of reaching out to you guys and be like, hey, listen, come to the States yeah. because it seems like you're the, almost the cream of the crop up there, right? Yeah. Um, and we want you here. We want to kind of just test this this whole thing out. And see how you guys are going to do it. What was MAMP like? I mean, I think you won your first MAMP in 2011. And then subsequently, like every two years after that, it seemed like yeah. or every year for that matter. If, I don't know if MAMP is every year, but it seemed that way. <laughs> what was that first yeah. MAMP to win like? Because again, it, that was like an official, like the biggest deal in, in yeah. London, right? Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, in, in the UK, it was the big deal. Um, so yeah, 2011, um, this was after NIA. And we thought, you know, we're going to get our, uh, our youth team, at least as the B team or the C team, even we don't we don't care what 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 you label us as, but let us have our team and let us go and play. Um, and it so happened that the the seniors didn't think we were ready, and they they split us up, and for good reason. 
because um, the A team bottled it against uh, Leicester in the semis. We played, I think it was the C team. So I was in the B team. Myself, Amirli, and Faz were in the okay. B team. Okay. Um, Mutz, I don't know if Mutz was there. I think he was. But Mutz, uh, Mutz Blue, um, Abbasili were in the um, were in the C team, and um, we played the C team in the semis, and we beat them quite convincingly. Um, and then we played um, Leicester in the final, and it was a best of two. Mm-hmm. So we won the first game, and we won quite convincingly. And this was when Leicester were, you know, they all talked about Leicester. Right. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. had the, they had the big hitters in Ayat. They had a guy called Mama, who's like sixty plus and still yeah. floating the <laughs> ball that, from back center. Yeah, for fun. That, with that name, you better be uh, good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and there was Hussein. Um, who I'm sure you've heard of, yes, uh, or maybe same. not. Yeah, who's but he still plays for plays, Birmingham right? Stars. Like, you think he still plays? Yeah, he plays for Birmingham Stars now. Yeah. yeah. Oh no way. Okay. Well, um, okay. Yeah. Some some good some good rivalries right, with right, him right. especially. Yeah, um, yeah. Sure. Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 He likes he likes talking. As he well likes going court. back and forth. Yeah. As, I know. I know. He's that guy. As I do. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, um, we played them in the final. We beat them the first game quite convincingly, and the second game they won just, just about. Okay. So they scraped the win. Okay. And we all just like, the, the game ended, time ended. We just all turned around, looked at each other and were like, so what's happening now? Is there going to be a third game? You know, what, what, what's going to happen? And I remember Abbas Virani turning, like running from the back, comes to me and he's like, you guys won. And I was like, Wait, how? What? We just lost this game. Yeah. 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 And he's like, you guys won on cumulative points because you had more points overall. Oh no! And wait. we all just turned around and started celebrating. <laughs> oh my God! Wait, so that that's, that was... there was no best of three at the time. No, no, no. Yeah, because thing is with Mant, because there's so many teams, only two courts. Uh, listen, they're still my wins. Okay, I know they're listen, dodgy. No, no, I'm not saying that. I'm <laughs> saying that sometimes it's unfair. You know how they say certain people are put in certain situations and they they flourish. If yeah. New York just had these rules, right? Like if we just had these rules in North America, you know how many trophies I'd be holding up. <laughs> Like, Are you coming to Wilaya? Yeah, I mean, there's gonna be a yeah, best so of three. We'll, we'll, we'll make a rule. We'll, we'll make those we'll make rules. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, top of the top of the uh, leaderboard gets the whole trophy. Go home. Yeah, I, <laughs> I just, I. That's wow. So the, you guys were playing under these random rules, but still B team coming out on top, like against a that's powerhouse. Yeah. That's yeah, like yeah. unheard of, right? That's like Cinderella yeah. story status. And in that tournament, we had, um, we had Dubai turn up. Yeah. So Dubai were a, a mixed team of some of some of the guys from Toronto. So Nadim yeah. was there. Oh wow! Who I think one of the best players to have I ever played the game. Hundred percent agree with you. You I know, love, Nadeem, I love the way he. We played. don't get to talk about Nadim too much, and uh, and again, like like I said, this is not a formal interview, so we're gonna go on a little tangent. Yeah, yeah Nadim is one of those guys. Like, if he had never gotten hurt, if he had never stopped playing. And fell in love with golf, which I don't really blame him anymore. But if he <laughs> never did all those things, like, I think we'd be talking about him as one of the best ever. You know, he made it look so effortless. So Just easy. playing back center. So, so easy. Yeah. His yeah. jump, his swing. I know. Everything. I know. Perfect. No, never, Perfect. never jumped out of the gym. Just jumped. It's like a soft jump, right? It's like a, it's almost yeah. like a, like a hop, hop step, right? Like he had that, that look to him, that, that feel, that. Almost that 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 uh, he was kind of like a a silent killer, almost right, like just kind of just, you know, he's there. His ball was he would come at you with like lightning speed. And at that time, mind you, like we're all growing up, standing and hitting was the deal, right? Until yeah, we had yeah. Dean Faisal or or watch Sa- Sammy. I don't know if you ever got a chance to yeah, watch yeah, Sammy, yeah. Play, right? So watch Sammy play. Like Sammy was our Faisal, right? So for us, like <laughs> when we saw Sammy play and then we saw Faisal play, like Nadim was like a. a he was like a guy who was like in between, still standing and hitting, but powerfully and then still jumping. But again, not at the gym, right? Just enough to get him that power. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think Nadim, I think he doesn't know. I don't think he knows. But Nadim paved the way a lot for a lot of us back centers. He also, we a lot of us wanted to become like him, right? We, we emulated yeah. him, like you said, like yeah. a lot of the older guys in Stanmore. We wanted to be like Nadim. And I wasn't able to play against Nadim enough, I want to say. But every time I did, I cherished it because, man, that guy could hit the ball. And you as a defenseman, I don't know if you ever – did you ever get a chance to play against him? Yeah, this, yeah, 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 yeah. In 2012. Insane. In 2012, okay. they came again to Mount as oh, wow. Dubai. Okay. And this time they came with Imran Jivraj. 
and they had just come off yes. their, I heard, their I huge win. Yes. Their huge win in Orlando. Right, right. Um, right. So there was, there was a lot of hype around yes, GV, yes. around Nadine. That, that's when, when Hadri Jaffrey final, that one? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so that, that could have easily been us. And I'm not, I'm not going to sound. Who know, did you play like in the semis? Sour grapes. We didn't even get to the semis. So the way the, the we got put into the championship tournament, into the plate tournament, okay. only because we were in the group of death. We had Haydari, we had Dubai, and us in the same group. At, at, at this point, are you, stand more, are you Stanmore A now? And official- we're Stanmore B as the youth team. Still? So this was when we got our youth team in Mant. This was the first youth team in Mant. Okay. And we played um, Haydari first game of the day. So for some genius idea right. they they thought they're going to put the seeded games as the first game of the day okay. so obviously Stan B was seeded and so were Hadery right, right. <clears throat> in our group we played them they just about beat us and that's it we won all of our games after that that's but insane. we even beat Dubai we beat Dubai on serve 9 all, and we had the serve and we won that game and we still got kicked out it's funny because that that MAM tournament I think for us was the biggest one in North America that we had watched because Jaffrey's, yeah. I think that was the first time Jaffrey's had shown up. Yeah, yeah. So that made it a so big. There was a lot of hype around. A lot of hype, right? And then obviously, yeah, yeah. not seeing Stanmore in the final, we're like, okay. Not seeing this Dubai team, which was almost like an all-star team in the final, we're like, okay. Seeing yeah. Haydari for the first time, and again, yeah. I, I had to mention this in my Bilal Kaba okay. interview, right? Pop collar, you know, guys, kind of like, <laughs> kind of like, you know, guys that are like a little cheesy, right? Like we're running around just like going at it with Munna and Nebub and. <laughs> and I don't, I don't know if you remember, there's one ball in that game that Mebo places the front left. I don't know who the front left is. Go back and watch it if you haven't watched it on YouTube. It's there. He places this front left. He looks one way, but places the front left that way. I mean, the gym, even when they were chanting against Jaffries, I mean, <laughs> that was the first time we had seen, uh, you know, the, the Brits. They love to like chant all these soccer chants. Oh, yeah. Like, who are you and all this stuff. Um, <laughs> they, they, they were... Even they were like, wow. Like, I just got to yeah. I gotta give it to you. And then I remember at that time, Mebub Gigi does one of these where it's become like a thing, right? Where we say like... Did he do it? Because yeah, I he, do it now. I yeah. didn't realize I Yeah, he did it. Him, if you I watch the video, he yeah. does this. Pretty much saying that I'm, I'm making you guys run in circles, right? Like, he was. <laughs> he was. Because that whole play was just like dive. I think the front center, Walji, like he dives and then he gets the ball and I don't know who. And then... I mean, it's just, yeah. again, go watch it. Um, one of the best games on YouTube. But wow, okay, I didn't know that was the, uh, that, was that tournament. Yeah, so, so, so 2011 was our first man win. When Nadim turned up for the first time, everyone was mesmerized by him. I remember we, we rocked up to the, to the court before the tournaments even started. And, you know, everyone has a ball and they're just playing yeah, on, yeah, on the yeah. courts because the court's yeah. already set up. Yeah. And he was there just doing his thing, man. And everybody was like, wow, yeah, who's this guy? This guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Monty was there. Monty, the loud Monty. Oh, Green. no way. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That was the first time I ever experienced the Monty experience. Yeah, and that's was, an experience. It was something else. Yeah. yeah. Ex- um, it, it, that, 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 for me, that makes volleyball, right? Like that, those yeah. type of guys, right? That, ex- that, those guys that come to the, come to the tournaments, like Monty, like he is so yeah. joyful, right? In that sense. Yeah. But yeah, no, yeah. Monty experience is something that everyone needs to experience. <laughs> experience. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Um, so that was our first Mount win when, uh, when that Dubai team was there in Peterborough. Okay. 2012, we got knocked out by Haydari, as it pains me to say it quite significantly. But yeah, we got knocked out by Haydari. And we won the championship tournament, which meant nothing, of course. The Mbuzi Cup, as they call yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> and um, stress got injured in that tournament, which is why you didn't see Stanmore any further than oh, they should have. Oh, okay. Stress, that... stress fractured his foot or something. Wow, um, big injury. Okay, he wasn't even playing. Mm-hmm. He was on the side doing something, and and he fractured his foot. And I remember Fuzzle being absolutely livid with him because mm-hmm. of that, because mm-hmm. they had a good team, yeah. and they were they were they they actually beat. Jeffries in the first game of the day, which was the the seeded game, yeah, yeah, um, because they were in the same group. But anyway, that that happened. Um, so yeah, that was that was 2012. When 2012, you had gone 20, 2013, 2015, you guys had won several ones after that. At what point are you Stanmore A in any of these? Like, where does Stanmore Stanmore A Stanmore A was 20, uh, ma'am, 2013, I think. Okay, so the very next we year, you, you guys are Stanmore A now. 
Yes, um, I think so. That starts your little run in which now people are starting to find out who you are. Yeah. Win in Mamth. Mamth, nothing against Mamth, right? Like I've always wanted to come to Mamth. I just wanted to kind of know what it was all about. It's kind of lost its glory, right? A little bit, I want to say, in the last few years. Because of Wilaya. Yeah. Why is that the case, in, in your opinion? Why is that? Is it because Wilaya has become that tournament that, you know, the North American teams, or at least one or two North American teams will show up to? I, yeah, so that's that's a part of it. But what we did with Wilaya was that we opened the tournament up. So yes. there's a lot of foul... I'm sure you've heard of foul system volleyball. Yes, 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 yes. yes. So there's a lot of foul system teams that play in the UK. Right, right. Um uh, Ismailis um, and 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 different 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 um, different sects. types or yeah, yeah uh, sects yeah um, so they um, we opened the tournament up right. they started attending and they, they attended obviously the the, the, the first Wilaya this obviously Aki we all know him yeah now of course, when yeah. they when they rocked up to the first Wilaya he wasn't there for the first day and in that first day we had our first round robin. And unfortunately, they, they didn't make it. So they went into the championship. But he rocked oh. up on the second day and put on a show in the championship. Ah, right. And everybody was like, wow, okay. This, this is the guy. This is something. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, I think that's what, that's, what, that's what made Wilaya supersede Mamt because right. of the quality of teams that were turning up. Um, uh, I've always wanted yeah. to come to Mamt. So maybe, you know, one day. Uh, yeah. Wilaya, speaking of Wilaya, Wilaya started off... I mean, I was at the first Wilaya and that was just, <laughs> yeah, you were. it was a mess for me, man. Like I just, I, I felt bad because I let United Stars down, but it just wasn't my, it my wasn't thing. You. It wasn't me. It wasn't yeah. me I, let it down. No. I just, I couldn't, uh, I, I just, I, I guess I was, I was playing in a position that I wasn't comfortable in and, and it just didn't work out for us. But nonetheless, we got to the semis and somehow, yeah, somehow, some way we played, I believe you guys or Jaffe's yeah. or somebody. I don't even know. You played us. You played you guys, you played right? Us. Yeah, yeah, I want to. Very short game. I'm, I, again, I'm trying to forget all these things. Uh, so I played. Yeah, I played in the first Wilaya, which was amazing. I mean, the guy you guys put on a show. I remember um, uh, a Kasim, uh, MJ Kasim, just amazing. Yeah, amazing. Uh, a host, I guess you can say. And and you guys were all so great in in having us over there. I remember the first day we had gotten there. Uh, the school is Alden Aldenham, Alden. Yeah, yeah, right, Alden. right. All the numbers, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the heater didn't work the first day. I'm like, dude, where are these guys bringing us? Like, they just <laughs> Jabber was sick as a dog. I'm just like, do they, they are they just tricking us? Is this like a way of just getting us to like not win this tournament? Um, <laughs> but you know what? It was, it was nonetheless, it was a great time. You guys versus Jaffrey's in the finals, yeah, yeah, and then take the L, right? What was that like, right? Like, like first time home court, crowd behind you against probably the greatest team ever, at least in this Nashri history. What was that like for you guys? First, first experience, right? Because mind you, you had just come off your first MAMP, if I'm not mistaken. No. Yeah, sorry, your first MAMP as the 18. As the 18. As the 18. Yeah. That's yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but yeah, so Wilaya, so that MAMP preceding Wilaya, Mutz Blue got mm-hmm. married that summer. Yes. Abbasili, I believe, got married that summer too. Mm-hmm. And neither of them were available for that month because they were on honeymoon. Okay. Because Mant is in August, um, yeah. bank holiday. Yeah. Um, so peak summer, everybody's, you know, having a good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so they went there. So it was me, Stress, my brother, Amir Ali, and I think Faz. And we lost to Birmingham in the semifinals. Okay. Do you remember I came, I came to Orlando after that as well? Yeah, that's and probably something you want to keep out yeah. and get out of your memory too, right? That's by yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm not going to say anything on yeah, that. Yeah, let's not let's that. not go there. Yeah. That's uh, don't want to go there. That was uh, <laughs> uh, if anybody wants to know, Mel actually did play for New York Union Islanders at one point, but uh, I think he wants to quickly forget that as quickly as I want to forget Willia 2013. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, we lost that month, and everybody was like, "You guys are just you know." Just, just one time kind of things. I, I, I felt like that one hit wonders. Chat, at least one hit wonders. Yeah, yeah. one hit wonders. And um, Willaya came about, and I don't think we went into that tournament thinking that we're going to, we're going to walk it or make it easy or you know, it be easy for us at right. all. Right. Especially with United Stars coming, 
with with Gigi's obviously having having been there, having been in the UK the last time they won it, which was Map 2012. Wow. So we obviously thought, you know what, they're going to come. They they're just going to do the business again, and and it's 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 going to be, you know, just like it was. Yeah. Um, but then we we started playing, and and the formation when we started playing was Mutz blue back center, stress sure. front right, oh, Abbasili back right. Okay. For a Basili back center and Mutz blue back right, I don't know something like that. Okay. And uh, and that that was that was the formation going into the tournament. Like we all had a chat, we had a team talk, and everybody mm-hmm. was like, "Yep, yeah, that's that's the team. That's how we're going. Mm-hmm. Fine." Yeah. So we go, we play, we win. We played. Uh, I can't remember who we played, but we played. We won. And there were some games where it got quite tight, and and we thought, okay, we need to change something. We brought right. stress back center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We put Mutz blue front right, and we put Abasli back right. And literally from that point on, the rest was history. Yeah, it clicked. Because we just went on to beat every single team. I don't think we lost the game that tournament, yeah. apart from the game against... Um, actually, I think we split with, with you guys yes, the night absolutely. before the final day. The night before. We're, yeah, there was, a, there was also... Yeah. Uh, it got quite heated. It got heated. Yeah, it got heated. It got very heated. Yeah, that was fun. It got very heated. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. I remember Thurab winning a couple of points from me as well. Yes, yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, that, that was... Good times. It was good times. Good time. Yeah, it was a that's, good volume. That's that's that that kind of molded me as well in a way. I think so. Because yeah, I think that it molded was the all first of us. time. Yeah, yeah. That was the first time I faced something quite difficult. I thought, at least, yeah. it was it was a different ball yeah. from him. Completely. Yeah. Um, we weren't used to getting those those kind of balls here. There's nobody in the opposition that could hit that kind of a ball to us. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, he had me rattle. Um, fair play, but. That made me better, and the next day, I agree. I, I mean, remember, nine years later, it comes out. So, if anybody's watching, yeah, 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 later, he's, yeah, yeah. we're old I, now. I remember the next it doesn't matter. <laughs> this great head. Um, <laughs> the next day, I, I met him, and he was like, Did you sleep last night? And I was like, What do you mean? Of course, I slept last night. He's like, I broke you. How did you sleep last night? <laughs> and I was like, I slept just fine. I slept like yeah. a baby. Don't worry about me. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we just went on to win every single game that day. Yeah. And, 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 you know, the rest of the And we had met each other again, right, in the semi. So, like, that was a, a way, that was, like, probably motivated you to, like, just... That was it. Yeah, I remember. I remember. Go the extra um, mile. Uh, you, you end up winning Willia in 2014 against the GGs. Yeah. What was that win like? Because it seemed like almost retribution, right? I mean, they beat you the year before. You come back, beat them the next year. We were not there. A couple other teams were not there. But nonetheless, you guys, you and Gigi's were just kind of running through this tournament, right? It was bound to be you two in the finals. (laughs) You know, Gigi's, um, it's funny because whenever we've played them, we've always felt like we have a chance. Uh, Because they play very similar to us in the sense that they're very steady. It's just float game. It's not hitting. Only when Kizzer gets involved that it changes slightly. But I don't think he gets enough of the balls that he should be getting. Right. He, I think he can finish games much quicker, mm. but I feel like the netty lifts more than he should to the back line. As you, think that's, you, think that's the case? you think Kizer could finish a game quicker if he had every single ball? Not every single ball. I'd say if he had 80% of them, he could probably do a lot more damage than, than he does currently, I think. Yeah, I could see that. I could see that. Um, like, with the more think, balls comes more fatigue slash more yeah. mistakes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I. I. I mean, even in it, it, uh, Willia 2018, yeah. when they came, yeah, I don't think Kizer got enough balls to make an impact in the final against us. I think it was very easy for us because Mebub was getting the balls and Muna was getting the balls. You had. What, did you win two straight in that final? Yes. Wow. Yes, okay. it was very easy. Which yeah. is really yeah, kind yeah. of unheard of, right? Yeah. So 2014, um, we won the first game. Um, I was, it was very heated. I can't even remember much from that game, to be honest, because I was just, I was in another like zone. zone. I was, I was yeah. in the zone. You, you were, you, you were remember. the Kumail Kaki of the, the volleyball Kumail Kaki. It's like when you cross the line, you have an alter ego, right? It's like changes, it's different. you know, it's volleyball different. player by, by night, but you know, dad and nice guy by day, <laughs> you know, just like all, all changes. But yeah, no, I know that zone that you're talking about. And sometimes yeah. once you're in it, it's like a trance. It's like, you just take yeah. it out. Like you don't even remember. Exactly, yeah. My my wife says I'm I, I play possessed and yeah, it's, it's that's, not right. Oh, wow. I shouldn't that's, be doing that. But yeah. yeah, but that is that is perfectly put. Yeah, I was trying to find <laughs> the right word. That is perfectly put. The the <laughs> possessed back left uh, uh, defender, uh, elite defender. But yeah, no, I, yeah. I I I was watching those videos and I remember you guys were just like it seemed like 
a bad word is revenge, but revenge was like is in your mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because because 2013 we came to Allentown. No, sorry, 2014. That same year we came yes. to Allentown. Yeah, we got to the quarterfinals. Yep. against Gigi's. Yep, we lost the first game on. Um, I think it was on serve. I think Abbasili put, yeah, Abbasili put the ball under the sea. And mm-hmm. had he not, had we won that point, we'd have won yes. the first game. I remember this. I've watched this video. Yeah. Yeah. Second game, there was again something that went on. I think they took two timeouts. They wanted a third timeout. Um, Marhum Asgurli was, was the uh, ref. referee of that game. Mm-hmm. And um, I remember him just putting an end to it. And it was like, listen, time's up. It's, yeah, it's yeah, 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 yeah. It's done with one. Like Asgurli would do. Yeah. Yeah. And, and we, went, we went crazy. We thought, this is it. We're gonna beat these guys We're now. Beat these guys, yeah. Third game came and they just cruised through to victory, and you yeah. know they 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 even ended up no Orlando won that tournament. Yeah, but um, yeah, revenge, revenge was you know on the cards for that 2014 uh, tournament, and and we just we thought we had them. It's I personally think it's very easy to play against them. Yes, they've been good lately, um, especially when they you know employ the services of oh, other, other, players, other teams. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So um, it's it's been quite easy for them, but still, um, I feel like if if they're playing their core, Jeffrey's, uh, Gigi's team, very easy for us. Yeah, I feel personally. I, when you guys are winning all these tournaments in Stanmore, I'm sure it's, yeah. it's a great feeling. It's a feeling of like, you know, you you're 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 um, protecting home court. You're protecting your city. You are the the ba- the, the pretty much the flag bearers of of UK slash Europe volleyball right like you're yeah. the top of the top you guys have played a lot of tournaments in, in allentown is one of them new york a couple of times mm. or three i think mm. um yeah. uh minnesota probably your best yeah. performance i, I would say so. was minnesota right i what does it feel like can, first i want you to describe to me the feeling of coming to these tournaments outside of the uk because for me mind you i had never really left North America, besides when I went to Dubai for the first time, that was an outdoor tournament, totally different feel. Willia yeah. the first time, which again, wasn't with New York Union. This would be yeah. my first time really coming out and playing in the UK with our team, with the team, team that I grew yeah, up yeah, with, yeah. right? Yeah. What was that like for you? What is that like for you guys every single time? Is, does it almost feel like you against the world? No, it doesn't. It doesn't feel like you against the world because there's, there's a lot of people out there that, that actually, um, that, that, that support us. Yeah, that 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 like seeing us play and like seeing us beat the likes of GGs, the yeah. likes of yeah. you know uh, Allentown and then whoever it may be. Um, I mean, people like Ahmed Suma, I love the guy, and he, oh. and he's a he's a big fan of us. Yeah. Like whenever I've spoken to him, is he's spoken quite highly of our team. Yes. Yeah, he yeah, loves the way we play. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, who else? Um, so, so many other people. I mean, like, yeah, the semis, Manekia, the, the, Aliraza Manekia. Yeah, of he course. loves us as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Orlando guys, in fact, all of the Orlando guys just love us. I mean, it's fun, and, and, right? It's, like, love it's it. like you're almost the UK version of Orlando, the younger version <laughs> of Jaffrey's. It's like you're the mix of both of them, right? And I think that's what makes it and, fun. Plus, you guys play with a passion, right? It's a different yeah. style of volleyball, right? It's like yeah. watching football players, meaning soccer yeah. players, play yeah. volleyball. Yeah. Tall, yeah, yeah. skinny, athletic, lanky guys, not kicking Good a football. Looking but jumping and hitting the ball. And I think that that is, uh, that is what makes it so interesting to watch. You guys play with a little bit yeah. of, like I said, an edge. And you guys are likable yeah. people, right? For the most part, Thanks. at least, right? I mean, you guys are likable. Not me. <laughs> no, you are. I, I, I have a problem with them, really. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> you guys are mostly likable people. Um, I, I, would, I would like to say, though, as much as you may think that you're probably the one that comes off the most not unlikable it's actually a boss of you a lot of people are like he's the guy who's like the guy right like you know there's always the guy who's like almost like a jock almost right like yeah. he's just like a mess like yeah. he looks messy. He he's a nice care. dude he's a nice like he i look messed care. up yeah. i look like yeah. a really messed up guy but if you know me i'm not i'm not that messed up right no, i think a boss you know. comes off that same way i think you know people have kisser has that look to him you know the yeah. has that look to him it's not really yeah. that way it's just that no. 
when you see them on the court, Bilal Kaba has that look to him almost, right? Like, yeah. you know what I'm yeah. talking about? Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't look that way if you want to know. Not all the time, at least. Thanks. Abbasili, though, a lot of people like feel that. You so know, I don't I'm look a... as good as I am. Fine. Yeah, I yeah. Okay, cool. All right. But Thanks. yeah, no, no, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I, I think Stanmore, I think Minnesota showed that people support Stanmore. And I think that oh, yeah. time, a lot of people confused the wanting of people, of, of the, the, the wanting of, of the fans or the crowd. <laughs> Uh, to have Gigi lose, but it was more so also you guys winning. I think people were so excited to finally see you guys in the semis. Yeah. Did you feel, I mean, that was the closest you got to it, right? Game three, it yeah, got yeah. down to the wire. Did you feel like that was a chance that might've slipped away and, and probably will be hard to get back? I don't think it'll be hard to get back. I think um, it was definitely a chance that slipped away. I think any other day we'd have probably taken that. <clears throat> we would have, would have probably taken that game. Um, yeah. they, they, oh, sorry, um, they, uh, I, th- I think we just made too many unforced errors, and that's what it comes down to. But I'm, I'm not even going to go into that. I think, I think <laughs> Minnesota was was a was a tough loss because we were so close. Yeah, but I, I, I feel like the kind of guys that we are and the mentality that we have, it just spurs us on more. Yeah. to come there and actually win now we, we got one step closer and i think we can get you know we can we can take two more steps forward and actually win a trophy there i, I want to take the blame on that a little bit on your loss in minnesota because i don't think we gave you guys a strong enough warm-up game in the quarters for you to <laughs> actually be ready for what jaffrey's are bringing right like i think that was a cakewalk mind you to our defense we had played five games total before we had played yeah. you that tournament i was obviously yeah. a different situation than most um yeah. But yeah, we were just not ready for you. Guys. No, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. You guys, game. no, game. you guys came out guns hot. It was like a cakewalk. Um, I played front left, and I was just like, "What am I doing here? Like, I don't even like what is <laughs> what's going six on." Position somewhere. I played legit. I played every <laughs> position that. that yeah. game. But you know what? Just like you messy. said, revenge was on your mind. Revenge was on my mind too in Dubai. Unfortunately, yeah. um, were you there that that time in Dubai? This in twenty? I don't think you were there, right? In twenty nineteen, right before the pandemic. I was. You were there back we last? Were standing on, we were standing on the side together. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Making when, fun of when, when stuff. The whole, yeah, yeah, yeah. When the whole thing yeah. happened, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Final. Oh, yeah. yeah, we were together. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that, was, that was so on my mind. I was like, these guys, the last time they beat me, it was like, I, if I felt it, I was like, and if you watch it. Obviously hit the ball out in that Yes, game. exactly. And that last, last rally felt yeah. like 20 minutes. Like, it felt like forever. Minutes. Right? It felt Easy. like it Easy. just would yeah. end. Yeah. And that's I remember an overrun. <laughs> yes, exactly. And then I went, that's, yeah, that's a good point. I went to the front center mid rally. Like it was like, just, I don't know what was happening, but if there's a video, I don't have it, but if you watch my reaction after we win that point, a boss hits the ball out. It's like, I had just won a championship because in my mind it's like, but I, I think. So that's the second time you did that. The first time you oh did my it God, yes. was in 2015, yes. New York. Yes, yes. Well, that, you got to give me you credit for that. The that, ground. Was, that was a crazy <laughs> comeback, right? 12 yeah, 1. We down. Were what? Yeah, yeah something like yeah, that. 12 yeah, 1. We yeah. come back when 12 all. Yeah, yeah, 12 all on serve. Yeah. That was probably the greatest. Come- I've ever, I've, everyone asked me the greatest game or the greatest comeback you ever made. That was definitely one. Yeah, because Stanmore, good. again, mind you, right? This aura of Stanmore in your hometown. I walk on the court and they're beating me 12 1. I'm like, dude, we can't touch these guys. And then we come all the way back. <laughs> Z spikes on a merely at the end, yeah. right? Like it's just like a bunch of like, whoa, yeah, you're right. The two times I celebrated the most in the Ron Robin game, <laughs> definitely against Stanmore, <laughs> and and it's nothing against you guys. It's just that I think you guys bring out the best in me, and and, and the fact that we can go back and forth. You guys are like so good at what you do, and sometimes I on the sideline I look at you guys and I go, wow, this team is so good. There's no way we can I can beat them. And then when I get <laughs> on the court and I have a chance to beat them, I'm like, I'm gonna, you know, I gotta yeah, take this. Take chance. it. Why not? Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, th- that. Uh, that tournament um, in Minnesota, I think people saw the true potential of what Stanmore could be. Now, I have a little bit of a gripe, and people know mm-hmm. this. And again, this was the live interview. I probably wouldn't be talking about this, but because this is a podcast feel, right? Joe Rogan. Yeah, yeah. I, whenever we talk about tournaments, especially in North America, yeah. and people hear Stanmore are coming, obviously there's a big plea of Stanmore. We want Stanmore here, blah, blah, blah. Everyone wants Stanmore here. Uh, I'm yeah, yeah. the first one in line. I always want Stanmore at these tournaments because I know the, the type of game you guys bring out in others um, and yeah. all the teams that are there. But, and it makes a, a tournament more real, right? Like, oh, Stanmore's coming. Wow, it's a legit tournament. Um, people <clears throat> count you in. 
when you haven't really proved much in North America. And that to me has always felt like, for example, in Minnesota, a lot of people are like, Stanmore is going to win this tournament. But why? Why do you think Stanmore is going to win this tournament? Why is, for example, New York's name not there? We've been to five finals. Yeah, we haven't won. That's besides the point. But we're there, right? Like, why, yeah. isn't, why isn't Minnesota's name talked about more? Why isn't, you know, I don't know, North talked about more. I feel like North once, you know, they, they've won more like than a lot of teams, even after Faisal going. Like that team is so damn good. Like, yeah. why is it always Stanmore that seems to be at the top or, you know, always considered a finalist? Again, a true testament of what you guys do. I mean, I'm not taking any credit away from you. It yeah. burns me, but does it also put a little bit of a, a, a cloud over your guy's head? Do you like the pressure or do you feel like, man, everyone's expecting us to win. We got to go out there and put on a show. <laughs> me personally, as Kamel, I love the pressure. I want the pressure on the court, especially. Um, I think with regards to with regards to that 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 expectation that people have whenever we travel to North America, I think, oh, and I was thinking about this the other day that I think it all comes down to the fact that we've we've beaten the Gigi's yes. twice yeah. in Wilaya mm-hmm. when they've come fully stacked yeah. like they've, they've come with their big hitters and 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 we, and we've beaten them quite comfortably so people can see that you know the Gigi's are the ones with the with with the with the biggest um trophy cabinet trophy so to cabinet. speak yeah, yeah, yeah. in north america yeah. right the, the 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 most prestigious team yeah. yeah um and and we've kind of just just walked over them in in wilaya um and I, I guess maybe that's where it stems from, the fact that, you know, we made it look so easy against them. I don't know, though. I don't know. I, I guess maybe it's one of those things where because we're the underdog, they're kind of backing the underdog. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? I get I what you're know. saying. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. I don't but know. Do you think but, that that affects, not you personally, but the team? Does the team, you know, when you walk into a tournament, like, for example, tomorrow, yeah. if I told you Stanmore Jaffrey yeah. is walking into MEM, and man, yeah, yeah. You're, you're, there's a confidence, right, about Stanmore yeah. Jeffries in that tournament. You know you're going to go in there and dominate yeah. for the most yeah. part. Yeah. Is there a level of like trepidation almost like, oh, my God, we're going to New York. We're going to Minnesota. We're going halfway across the world. We better do well because people are expecting that. Yeah. The, the, I guess there is a sense of that. And there, there, there always will be. Um, not from just what we get in terms of the perception abroad. Right. But also the the, the at perception at home, in the sense that people are now expecting you to go there and win something, considering you've been there like seven years in a row. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So you know, you guys keep going, you keep you keep flying the SJ banner, but you're not actually bringing anything <laughs> yeah. back for us <laughs> to, yeah, yeah. To, to cheer about. So I guess there is that that sense of expectation. But, do, you, do you? Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. No, I was just going to say that when when we walk onto the court. And we're playing that 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 first game of the you know the tournament wherever it is New York Allentown, we're we're playing it like we're playing in Wilaya or we're playing it like we're playing in Mant. Yeah. We we believe in ourselves. We we have the ability. We've won tournaments, so we're we're gonna go there and back ourselves. Things then start to change. Things you know, of course, like it, it, it doesn't work out yeah. quite as 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 we expected. So what, what, it, when you um, play in Mant and and Wilaya. I'm sure, again, there's a level of confidence that exuberates, you know, that your team exuberates. Do you feel that same confidence in North American tournaments? And when I, what I mean by that is not the pressure of playing mm. or winning or expectation. I'm talking about the talent that you're going up against. Is it substantially more? Does it feel hard? Like, do you feel like you're working, especially against the top elite teams? Because mind you, nowadays there's 10, 8 top teams do you feel yeah, like yeah. you're working for every game any game whether it's an a team b team random team do you feel like you can lose yes yeah 100 yeah, 100 percent. um the quality in north america is just you know a lot a lot better than what we have here right. um here until recently it was just haydery that would that would essentially give us a game um and even that now, I think that I'm, I'm not going to be rude or you know patronizing or anything like that. But I think they've 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 lost a bit of their talent. Um, it's just Bilal 
that that that's there and holding the team. There are a few, you know, role players who are doing the job. But anyway, it's not about Hayley. But what I'm saying is that um, <laughs> yeah, Bilal, Bilal, you had your interview. <laughs> <laughs> um, what I what, what what I'm trying to say is that yes, the quality is so much better there. So we have to work a lot harder right. to win a point there than we have to over here. So it it, it definitely makes a difference. Favorite tournament in North America? Which one would you say? Minnesota was up there, not just because of how far we went, but I don't know. It it just felt like everybody was 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 ready. You was know, ready. That was, was like, the was tournament like the where peak. everyone was ready. Yeah, 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 like yeah. Of, yeah. Of, of, yeah. Of talent that was that winning. was the one. Yeah. We haven't been to one in Toronto, so everybody's been telling. I us think that Toronto. Toronto yeah, that's yeah. I think Toronto would definitely be. Uh, yeah, I think that's. But New York obviously has a soft spot because we've been there like three times. Of course, um, yeah. we love that place. It's yeah, home. It's, it's the mecca, almost yeah. mecca of art. <laughs> um, yeah. we're, we're I, in the intro. I introduced you with three words, enigmatic in the sense that you're mysterious, right? Like, don't really know on the court. You're someone else. Off the court, you're a quiet, calm, collected guy. On the court, you have this like lion in you that wants to be unleashed, yeah. almost right. Yeah. Charismatic in the sense that. You put on a show and you know you're putting on a show and you love it. You play it to the crowd. People watch. People, they, they love to like, they, you know, they dive into that. They love that about <laughs> you. You wear your emotions on your sleeve. And over dramatic because if you ever watch a Stanmore Jaffrey's game, they could be down one love and Kumail's just like, guys, we're yeah. not losing this game, right? You're, no. <laughs> even if it's one love, the guy just took a service point. You're versing Stanmore C, New York D. Kumail's <laughs> A game is on and he wants to win. So, yeah. Because you play with that passion, because you are a person that, that wears his, his emotions on his sleeve, where does that passion stem from, number one? Number two, do you feel like you can continue to recreate that passion every time you step on the court? Is it like that chip on your shoulder almost? Is it always there? Like, do you, is it like a switch you just flip on? It's always there. It's always there. Like, even we played on Saturday, you can ask Mitz Blue right now, where I was calling him out. Yeah. Um, because even in our practices now, Love Love well, obviously to to to, to 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 get to the level where I want to be for Wilaya, I need to be at that peak and I need to be, you know, calling the opposition out, making them try to hit me and win a point off me. Exactly. Um and, and you know, give me the hardest ball that they can so that so that I can test myself essentially. So that that will always be there. That's as soon as I walk onto the court, I'm I'm gonna be that way. I don't know what it is. I don't know how it came about. Mm -hmm. It's just the passion to win and be the best. So that will always be there. That feeling that, that calling somebody out or, or wanting yeah. to go up against the best, that, that, did that stem from anyone? Did you watch anyone do that? Did you model your game after everyone and notice that, hey, man, that guy's doing that. That's going to be me. I'm going to do that. Is there a defender that you modeled your game after or even just the way you go about business on the court? Is there someone that you always looked up to? So there's, there's two people. The first one, and the, probably the one who I have watched the most and thought I want to be in every way as good as he is, is Hasnay Gigi. Of course. From a, from a defensive perspective, probably the GOAT. The GOAT, yeah. Well, if, I was about if, to say yeah, that. The GOAT, yeah, yeah. yeah has yeah. to be. So he's, he's, he's up there and... He makes it look so easy, man. So easy. Man. Whatever you make him do, whether you make him dig, you make him stretch, you make him dive, it's too easy. It's just too easy. Even serve. Like, how does he do it? I know. So it's it's, 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 it's like playing back center is cool. Playing front yeah. center is cool. Playing netty yeah. is cool. You get the spotlight. Like I said, yeah. you and Jabber have made playing back left cool, right? Yeah. Yeah. But playing defense in general. Yeah. The one guy that has made that so cool has been yeah. hustling Gigi. I yeah. mean, to incorporate swagger and offense is very easy. Yeah. I can put on a glove. I can put on a sleeve. <laughs> I can wear a hat. Yeah. That's swag because he's taking points. Yeah. But to, to have swag on defense is very difficult. But if there's one guy who can make that a reality, <laughs> it's hustling Gigi with the pulled up pants, the – the language, the, the, you know, like the banter, <laughs> whatever, the, the, just the, the way that he goes about business in yeah. itself has swagger. Yeah. Yeah. And I think he made defense super cool because any kid you ask with 
any because he's transcended generations. Yeah, yeah. In any generation, he's most of the them, best. exactly, yeah. if not ninety percent of them, will tell you the greatest, the the one they've looked up to the most, the one they've modeled their game after the most is Hasan Jiji. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. And um, the second person that I was going to mention um, is it's not so much I've modeled my game after him, but I've 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 kind of been on a parallel with him, yes. Jabir. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. So obviously he's he's the defensive man for for United Stars. He's one of my closest friends right. for as long as I can remember since Nairobi days. Right. And yeah, I've just just you know there's there's that there's that friendly rivalry. Yes, exactly. Sense. Yeah. I yeah. want to be better. I yeah. will be better. Yeah. Exactly. I'll win more yeah. championships. But you need those people so, yeah. that push you, right? Exactly. To be that, right? And exactly. Again, again, as defenders, I think you two are at the top of that list. Yeah. I think Hasnain obviously is always going to be Hasnain. Oscar yeah. will always be Oscar. But Father yeah. Time catches up to everybody, right? <laughs> you two are the flag bearers of defense moving forward. People like Imran yeah. Murji, for example, who plays back left for us, they they yeah. they want to be Good like player. you guys, yeah. right? Like yeah. he's become so much better because he's watched yeah. you guys play the, the, that position at such an elite level for so long. And that is, see, volleyball, it's easy to be good in volleyball. It's really damn hard to be great. And yeah. I think the difference between being good is after every, th- if you give me three third balls, I'll take one point. If you give me 10 yeah. third balls, I'll take one point. But to, get, to take a point, to not make a mistake in those 10, to not make a mistake in those three, that's what makes you great, right? Yeah. If you take yeah. 10 and give 10, you're just like every Joe Schmo. You, you're yeah. like any kid that I could put back there and you'll, make this, you'll do the same thing. But if you can take 10, and give two, that makes yeah. you Imran Walji. That makes you Turab. That makes you Faisal. That makes you great, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. And that's the difference. And I think in the game today is that people are so focused on taking points that they don't realize that plus minus that everyone talks about in basketball and football, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that plus minus is what gives you wins. Exactly. And unfortunately, you know, I think that people need to realize that you guys, you and Jabber, that plus minus is always there on, your, on, on the good side uh, for you guys, you know? Um, again, great and good. It's a big difference in volleyball, in yeah, my yeah. opinion. Yeah, yeah. Um, I agree. But uh, again, you've not only watched Hasnain, Jaber, obviously all these guys. You've played against the best centers, yeah, right? Yeah. Have you ever played against Faisal? I don't know if you did. No, I haven't. Well, that's one thing, no, unfortunately. I unfortunately, but, uh, yeah. But he, I mean, we'll get into that conversation in a bit. I'll leave that for later. The okay. best centers you ever went against, and, and I'll give you three. I want, I want you to say the hardest center you played against. Who was the hardest? I give you the, the most difficult time. You're the type of guy who's going to be like, drawing a blank. Them. Yeah. You're going to be the guy who's going to be like, wait, <laughs> no, none of them. I don't, I don't find any of them. No, you know, you know, you know who I rate and, and, um, I rate quite highly is Imran Walji from Minnesota. Yeah. Yeah. Only because he makes the ball move sideways, yeah, like literally move sideways. He's 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 really good, man. He's yeah. really good. Your so favorite, I, I had a tough time your, against him in Minnesota. Your your yeah yeah. I mean yeah. that in Minnesota, no one touches Imran Wazi. I mean yeah. that guy. <laughs> I, I, I said it before. He can play in that gym with his eyes closed. Your favorite <laughs> center to play against, the one who always gets you riled, even if it's like a you know it doesn't really matter, but just you know just gets you Throw going. Up. Yeah, I, I think a lot of people would say that. The one that brings out the best in you. He's not a back center, but um, Kizza. Yeah, agreed. Kizza, yeah, hundred percent agree with that. I think that yeah. that is. Well, maybe 100%. he's a back center now. I don't know, but yeah. That, okay, so there you go. We don't know, right? Two years yeah. <laughs> have passed in this volleyball world of ours. We don't know much. We don't know what's happening. It's kind of almost a surprise. Yeah. It's kind of like everyone got reset. Yeah. What do you think the pandemic's effect on the game has been in terms of you guys are slowly going back to practice? We're all slowly going back to practice. Is this yeah. tournament going to be the man, a long time coming? Like, wow, we really just want to get on the court. Or do you think it's going to take a couple of tournaments for us to get our feet wet again and understand the dynamics of what people can bring to the table? Because everyone, again, two years older, um, yeah, it's changed a lot of things. So I'm thinking it's going to be the latter where it's going to take a while to get back up to that level where we were. Yeah. Um, I think it's going to be um, 
it's going to be action packed as cliche as that sounds in the sense that there's going to be a lot of teams who are at the same level because of the lack of volleyball for I such agree. a long time I agree. um nobody's played with any tournament intensity so it's going to be a, a shock to the system i think after two years of just a break right um so yeah i'm, I'm i think I'm, also I'm like thinking the yeah, the the favorite is going to be stanmore because it's at home but yeah. if you really looked at it it's hard to finally like for the first time in volleyball it's hard to be like these guys are going to be the top 4 these guys are going to be the top 8 right everyone has an opinion most of the time it's always jaffries orlando stars stanmore right you know but it's hard to say that this time because you it's just don't know you just don't know who's yeah. going to come out guns hot the game i think personally and this has been a topic of conversation in north america amongst a group of us and i think that i don't know how it is in the uk but i think mm. for us we had noticed that towards that time like you were saying the volleyball was at its peak yeah. but at the same time it was also at its most toxic i think in a sense that people were wishing instead of admiring somebody's game it was almost you hope you hoped for the downfall of somebody's game mm. you almost it's like you almost hoped that you know you wanted to beat everyone slash you didn't actually acknowledge how great someone was how this mm. game actually brings us together how this game actually is the only getaway for a lot of people to to be able to mingle right to see guys from the uk we don't see you guys if it's yeah. tournaments right sure. and we have such yeah. a great time that those three four days that we see each other it's a lot of laughs a lot of jokes but we get that again meeting someone like fuzzle right would have never happened yeah. if it wasn't for tournaments for me right exactly yeah um i think a lot of people are going to come out of this positive i think a lot of people are going to come out of this um, thankful, grateful yeah. of, of being yeah. able to continue to play this sport because Fuzzle, you know, never got to see another indoor tournament, right? Like yeah. Uskerly really didn't get to see another indoor tournament. Like these guys haven't been able to see, we're lucky enough to be coming at the tail end of this and being able to, inshallah, play in this yeah. upcoming tournament. Okay. What we hope is that people are going to come out of this positive. I think where you come from is correct because you're away, because you're in the UK and because there's a likening to what you guys bring to the table. I think people like you because you're respectable, yeah. right? You're respectful on the court, off the court, even though you may go a little crazy sometimes, it's all in a <laughs> respectful do. way, right? You come off yeah. the court, you're already in, in like, again, back to, you know, Hey, listen, you're hooked yeah. out. You know, you're just like, yeah. I'm good now. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was just fun and games. And people notice that, right? I think people like that. So I think I, I just hope and pray that we come out of this positive. And I think, like you said, if these other, sorry, if you hear my son in the background, but oh, if, you, no, go. if you, if you hear this, uh, if you hear this, um, if you come out of, you come out of this positively, I think it, it really, I think we can really make a difference. It, that's what I'm trying to get. It. I think two years, it's time for us to use this platform for better things. Right. Cause it's I think, probably I think the biggest gathering. Will be, yeah. I think everybody will be looking forward to seeing everyone again. I think just, just, playing against each other again Agreed. will, will Agreed. be, you know, Agreed. Agreed. well received. Yeah. Stan Moore Jaffries, obviously everyone is in wonder what's going to happen. I mean, the last time we saw you guys, you were in the semis. The last time, you know, we saw you guys, you were this close to potentially being in the final. And I think a final that you probably could have won. Um, yeah. It was, it was what, what should we expect from Stan Moore? Is everyone back to playing? I know there's been a lot of ACL tears around that, around that, you know, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's a fashion. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, ACL tears. Um, and now. is everyone ready? Is is there new additions? Is there new things? You talked about a new netty, a new kid, right? Is there anybody? Is your brother like your brother? What's up with like what's happening with Stanmore? What is the future like? And what do you expect from them? Come um, Wilaya. To be honest, as it stands, Stanmore A is a blank canvas because we haven't played in two years everyone is going to get a fair share at, at their opportunity to play for Stanway. Yes, there are a few, uh, a select few, like you mentioned, the core four that are always going to be there or are always going to be mentioned in that conversation. But um, yeah, I think, I think the role players that, that you would typically look at, especially your, your front sides, um, those positions are open for, for, for many to you know, try and fight for a spot and get into the A-team. Um, so yeah, every, everyone's fighting, fighting out on 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 the on the practice courts. That's that's all I can say at the moment. What, Every, uh, everyone's giving their best. What has it been like playing with your brother? I, I obviously you know I played with my brother for a long time, and obviously he had such an impact on my game. I, I don't I yeah. say this all the time, and I think as I've gotten older, I've said it even more. I don't believe I'd be as good 
if it wasn't for my brother. I don't think I'd be half as good if it wasn't for Safe. Safe made me so much better than yeah. I am. And I think yeah. I've noticed that because he left. And I'm like, damn, yeah. I really miss Safe. <laughs> um, but, you know, I always used to tell Safe, you're as good because of me. I'm hitting, I'm hitting the third balls. And he's like, bro, you don't get it. You're not going to get it till I leave. And now I do. Um, what has it been like playing with your brother? And what, you know, what is that? Is there that, that chemistry, that camaraderie? Obviously, you guys, you know, you have it in you. You know, what do, what do we, what should we expect? Is that a possibility? Is he still playing? Is he going to be on the court? Like he's still playing. He's still okay. playing. Yeah, he was playing. He's actually the tier one coordinator. So um, Javin Morali heads up uh, SJVB. Yeah, Khalil's yeah. tier one coordinator, and Hasnain Abdullah is tier two coordinator. But yeah, so Khalil's Khalil's very much in the mix. Um, I love playing with him. Of course, he's my brother. I'm, I'm going to enjoy playing with him. I think it's different between you and Safe because Safe, like you guys, have a have a connection and a relation on the court as well. If you know what I mean, like Safe setting for you, yeah, and, yeah, 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 and yeah. so on. Whereas Khalil's playing in front of me, so he's leaving the kachra for me. Basically. <laughs> yeah, he's making me do all the donkey yeah, work. Yeah. But um, I love it. I love. I think it. you. Like, yeah, I think you. Br- you bring out yeah. the best in each other, no matter what. Khalil yeah. and you are different, right? In a sense, right? You're more charismatic like vocal. i had mentioned he vocal he's very pretty boy right he's just like <laughs> i'm here to make the team look good yeah. right? you know what i'm saying look- <laughs> great game so much yeah. swagger um yeah. but i think that's what makes you guys so good it's kind of like me and safe right i'm always a talkative one i'm the one who looks mean yeah. safe is the nice dude right everyone likes it yeah. Everyone, nice you know, yeah. everyone's good yeah. right like it's crazy how how two brothers can be so different but yet uh it's so good to see you both on the court um speaking of what your relationship with your brother is on the court and what you probably meant to him. What do you want to be remembered for? Fuzzle obviously remembered for so many great things. When yeah. you leave the court, when you're finally done and you hang it up, what is the one thing that you want to be remembered for? Do you want to be the greatest of all time? Do you want for people to remember you as, you know, somebody who was, again, uh, somebody who left it all on the court? Like, what is it that you want to be remembered for? What is your legacy? Oh. Um, I've never thought about that, to be honest. Um, I, I I play volleyball because I just love the sport. I don't I don't I don't really think about what I'm going to leave behind in terms of volleyball. Um, I do definitely want to be one of the first people to bring back uh, an international trophy to Stanmore. Yeah, that that, that would be nice. I that think because nice. yeah, yeah. that's that's the only thing that's missing in our cabinet, right? Um, so yeah, that would be good. Um, in terms of a legacy. Yeah, I wouldn't mind being the greatest of all time uh, as a defensive back yeah, left player. But let's be honest, his name Gigi is on a pedestal at the moment. He's he's the guy. So I don't know if I'll ever get there. But yeah, yeah you see. never you never know. I mean, time. Will time. <laughs> I, I never yeah. thought there'd be a better three point shooter than Reggie Miller or Ray Allen, and then there's Steph Curry, right? Like you never know what's going to happen, and and you're well on your way. I'll tell you that. What drives and, and motivates you the most? Like, what is there that gets you just you just want to win um it's winning man it's winning and not making a mistake it, it goes back to the fundamentals not making a mistake um if i don't make a mistake the entire game i think the team is is on course to winning um so for me personally my bit is to not make a mistake and um convert play essentially right so for me the biggest thing on the court and, and what motivates me the most is to be able to set the other guys up to play the way they should play, like the Amas, the Muts, and the Abbasilis. So that's that, I think that's what motivates me the most, to be the support, to be the rock, and to, to rile the whole team up, get everybody ready to go. Fair enough. To fair enough, fair yeah. enough. I mean, I, I want to do the rapid fire round, and I know that I was something that I was going to eliminate from this, but I just feel like you get the most... Like the instinct of a person is just inst- like, you know, they instantly say something. And I think I love that. We'll keep it short, but I do okay. want to talk about certain people and like, you know, what your thoughts are about them. And again, just the, the first thing that comes to your mind, this is the, this is the end. So after this, it's the finish line. You can take care. <laughs> you can go to sleep. I know it's pretty late there in London. Um, we'll start off best Nettie, best Nettie in the game. Much. Best defender currently in the game. Come out, Kaki. I love that. Bilal Kaba. A lot of potential. A lot of potential. Just unfortunate to be in on the wrong place. side of London. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Durab. 
alpha male, big balls, um, <laughs> uh, very good back center. Yeah. Uh, Amirli. Makes the game look so easy, effortless. Um, the best, well, one of the best, if not the best, front centers in the game right now. Ahmad Sumar. Oof, high up there to be the GOAT for me personally. I rate his game because he can defend and he can, he can, he can hit. He's, he's very good. Very good. One of the best. Ali Asghar Alu. Bags of potential. Bags. He-Man. Bags. Yeah. He-Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He-Man. He-Man. The way he, he, he uh, swings, it's like he's pulling out a sword and, and hitting yeah. the, the ball, yeah. man. Amazing. Amazing to uh, watch. The GOAT in your mind. Who is the GOAT? Of all of volleyball, Faisal Banji. I haven't played against him. I wish I did, but he's the. But goat, that man. that just shows how much of a goat he is. That if you haven't yeah, played yeah. against him and you think yeah. he's the goat, he yeah. is for damn sure the goat. I mean, yeah. I remember when you had mentioned him as like, we'll get back to him. I think without a shadow of a doubt, the goat. Goat, hundred percent, hundred percent, definitely. And I'll leave you with this one: the greatest game on YouTube. That's what it's been referred to as: the three set series between you and Orlando in New York, the quarterfinal. <laughs> Dubbed as the greatest game on YouTube. What are your final thoughts on that? And it must have been one of the best games you played in. One of the best games we played in, but Orlando were much better than us on the day. Not much better than us, but they were better than us on the day. And they, they were solid. They were stacked. They were, they were the team. And Arif Ali actually made me bleed. So, yeah. Wow. Well played. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. We'll end it with that. Thank you so much. <laughs> I mean... No, uh, wonderful you, time. I don't even know where time went. And that's what I love about it. Uh, thank you so much for being just a good sport and just making this happen. Um, and no, again, all, a, a pleasure and honor of mine to, to interview you. I've always wanted to. And I'm glad that I was able to get you on. I'm glad that you're doing well. And I'm so excited to see you soon. Uh, any Likewise. parting words for the fans? No, I mean, just everyone better come to, to, to Al Wilaya. The Orlandos better be there. The New Yorks better be there. Um, Minnesota, the Rob, GGs. All of you must come. It's going to be an amazing tournament. Um, we can't wait to host you all. So whatever you need, um, you know, pre being here, whilst you're here, just please don't hesitate to let us know and, and we'll, we'll accommodate you in any way. Anyway. Thank you, so man. I will make sure it. that I don't do my beard here so that you can do it for me. <laughs> I have a barber. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. We'll be in touch. And again, uh, Thank you, a privilege, a privilege. Thank you for this. Take care, man. One, 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 sorry, Fatia, for um, yes. Fazal and all Marhumin, please. Okay.